This is the 14th and final instalment in my uh, guitar collection, Martin's Guitar Collection 2022. And this video is being filmed rather later than any of the others, partly because I'd pretty much forgotten I had this. Um, a little caveat, I do still technically own three other instruments, um, two of which my two Fender basses are in the UK and waiting to be sold. They just didn't sell in, in uh, July when I was there. So they will be uh, relisted in uh, April when I'm back there. But um, as far as I'm concerned, that's written off. And technically, my second classical guitar, I do still have. Um, that's being given away. I just haven't done so yet. Um, so that, again, is, is um, the guy I'm giving it to knows that they're getting it. Um, it's just that I haven't managed to get it to the UK yet. So this is my Melee Lap Steel. Um, and as I say, I'd almost forgotten I owned it. I, I got it when I was on holiday for Christmas in Hawaii about five years ago, I want to say now. Uh, it was a Christmas present from Eva. Um, and it was just bored as a bit of fun. It was either do I want this or do I want a ukulele. And I thought, well, this is a little bit different. Um, I don't know very much about it. It's clearly made from mahogany. Uh, the tuners are cheap, the bridge is cheap, the pickups and knobs and everything cheap. It wasn't an expensive instrument. Um, I restrung it once and I never want to have to do that again because the tension is incredibly high on these things. Uh, so it was, particularly with these cheap tuners, quite a lot of work. If I was going to play it a lot, maybe I would um, you know, do some work on it, replace the pickup and the tuners and a few other things, but I don't know whether it's worth it. I'd say it's sat in a case for two years. Um, single volume, single tone, which is bent, must have got damaged in shipping. Uh, fixed bridge, single dual rail pickup of indeterminate origin. I considered putting a DiMarzio in, um, but I haven't done yet, so we'll see how that goes. Now the key with a, a lap steel guitar is that the strings are well above the fretboard. Um, or it's not really a fretboard even, it just has lines. Uh, there are no frets on this. So it's quite a different instrument to play. And you play it with one of these. A tone bar or a steel or, you know, they have different names. They're not all made out of steel, this one is. Uh, this is a Dunlop one, this is the one I got when I got it. I also have a glass one, uh, which I think came from the Rockslide company, but I'm not 100% certain. Uh, I've had that again quite a while. And they do give a different tone. They're quite heavy. Um, certainly the metal one is, is very heavy because you have to put quite a bit of pressure on the strings. Uh, now for the close-up shots, I apologize that you're gonna see my lovely hairy knees um, just because it's a guitar that you play on your lap uh, and it's like, 28 degrees, so I'm not going to put long trousers on just for the purpose of one quick video. But this will be very simple because, very quick, because A, I don't really know how to play this instrument, um, I, and B, there's not a lot to do that's kind of different with it. Uh, it's tuned in a kind of C6 tuning. So it's C, E, G, A, slightly flat. Uh, C and E. So that immediately gives that kind of slightly Hawaiian sound. And you're hearing it just through my standard guitar rig. I've just got my compressor pedal on, my Sir Koji comp, my Mad Professor uh, Deep Blue Delay going into my two Black Star amps. So, pretty clean. And if you're not careful, because you've only got a second between two of the strings, the G and the A string, you get lots of lovely things like that, where you basically 
just play one note. And on the next string in the same place. So you, you kind of, if you're playing chords, basically you've got a major triad on the bottom three strings. You've got a minor triad on the top three strings. of techniques you'll see people who actually know how to play these things will bend behind the slide to get different things you can angle the bar instrument to play well it really is um, it's not something that I've spent enough time with to be remarkably competent at all with it um, it's kind of a little bit like playing fretless bass in the sense that there are no frets so you have to kind of just line up with the line uh, if I play with the glass one you'll hear that it's slightly different Space. If you're any good at it, you can slide harmonics and all that kind of things. Um, I bought this because I thought it would be a fun instrument to learn. Um, that's pretty much uh, what it was. I haven't done very much with it at all. I don't think I've ever recorded it other than a couple of YouTube videos. At one point, I built a pedal board for it and I thought I was going to do it as a whole sort of separate thing. Um, but I just, I've moved on from it. Um, I still like having it. Um, yeah, I, I don't. I considered selling it, but it's not really worth enough to sell and get any real money from it. So if someone comes up to me and says, "Oh, I really always wanted a lap steel guitar," maybe I'll pass it on to them because, yeah, it's not something that is a key part of my collection by any means. But it was just something that was a bit of fun. I guess the only thing I haven't demonstrated is tone control, which works like a tone control. So. Set crackly and bent. So very simple, very simple instrument. Um, nice and portable and light, so you know you can take it on a carry-on if you're going, you know, overseas or whatever. Uh, that's never an issue. But you really have to know what you're doing to play it. I don't, so it'll stay in my collection as long as nobody else has a better need for it. But other than that, it's just a a, a fun little toy. I wouldn't miss it. Um, but it's kind of cool in its own way. Now if you watch my video on Monday you'll know that there's going to be no videos at all for October. Uh, I'm taking the month off all social media to reset. Um, 
but then I do have videos planned already for November so I'll see you in about five weeks time take care